Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a brand new season of Fortnite. This is season five. As you see, a couple weeks ago, we had the time spaceship kind of rocket thing, kind of crack the sky. We've been seeing some teleportation around here, including that guy's pterodactyl glider. <laughs> and it went down. Durr disappears as well. Very interesting start of the season. We get in the California desert today. And actually, this is really in the California desert. There is the Durr Burger and a car stuck out there somewhere by California. And... Uh, there's been agents guarding it for a while. Look at this guy. He's spray painting on its tongue. Look at that. And there's the golf cart. Really, really neat. Okay, so he's starting to get sparked. He's gonna get zapped. Electric cracks. Spray paint stays behind. That'd be kind of fun to get in the game. Actually, there are spray paints in the game, aren't there? And he gets teleported into the game. Because this is the theme is worlds collide. So real things happen in game. And in-game things happen in the real world. Look at that. Ooh, do you see that? There's a llama viking ship. How neat is that? So we do have the new loading screen here. I'm in level one, a brand new level one down here in the world. The loading screen looks awesome. Kind of a, a deserty sort of thing with the garage repair shop in the background. Old dilapidated cars. I absolutely love it. So they do have the new challenges and stuff, which we're going to take at right now with the battle pass. And this brings season five battle pass to the game. We get, ooh, look at that dude. Oh, he looks so cool. I think that is the uh, level 100 uh, skin. We'll look into him, but we play the battle pass. You get going, and as you get inside of it, you start unlocking more things. And there's even toys that have been added to the game, like have fun with your squad. Try the jump shot on the court and see if you can make a hole in one on the golf course. So all sorts of fun stuff like that in the game. Uh, what we're going to do today is go through the challenges. There are a bunch of different week one challenges here. You get two different types. There's the basic one that anyone can do, and then there is the battle pass. So the battle pass is easy. Uh, all of these are pretty simple today, but we're going to go through and find them. The follow the treasure map at Risky Reels might be one of the more difficult ones. So I'm actually going to purchase up the battle pass, and we're going to start off. I like just purchasing the level one one and then unlocking the rest of them as they go through. There it is. Battle pass upgraded. Whee! Cool. We got a bunch of stuff. Ooh, 10 XP. We got her, the Huntress. That looks like a Viking Huntress. We also have Drift, and then the battle pass challenges, more Drift challenges, XP boost and ooh five free tiers really okay that's kind of cool go everything unlock it all oh, close it up very nice so let's switch over to the huntress I like that hey there we go we'll play with the huntress and we're gonna start doing some of these challenges this is kind of cool so they've changed it up as well so you only have to gain experience and this continues over uh, through different seasons as well so you can get different uh, upgrades here for the the drift I guess it's like a Japanese looking mask on it. So we're going to start off with searching chest in Snobby Shores. We need to get seven of them. They're over on the side, and uh, it's always really, really contested. There's always a lot of people that go there. Fortunately, there is a nice little map that shows up uh, on a website called FortniteMaster.com, and you can see those different icons there of where you can go get the best chest. I've picked the second house. is usually the one I dropped. I liked it a little bit better because there were availability for four chests. Unfortunately, my first drop was a bit short, but I could still get a, a few good guns on the way. I saw that shotgun in this window, uh, so I decided to come inside and get it. And then I can go into a house using a gun. So we're going to go in here into the garage, and I do hear there's a chest in the basement. So I'm going to run downstairs. Thankfully, this one has not been looted. Also a scar, which is really nice. And uh, pretty much you run in and die. Oh, we got an SMG. So that is one of the reasons I like dropping to get the chests first in the contested areas. Because we can get the side things like the grenades and the SMG damage. Unfortunately, I didn't capture um, the full-on SMG damage um, uh, achievement or... Challenge mode? Oh, <laughs> there's a guy hiding right below me. So um, I'm just going to show you that as getting the SMG damage, and then you can move on from there. going to jump over the house, and this is the chest that I decided that I was going to get uh, more times, because it wasn't as contested as trying to jump into a different building. Uh, unfortunately, someone has watched me, and I died right away yet again. Thankfully, it gets a little bit easier. This was a farther drop farther away on the other side of the map. So I decided to come down, get the same chest, and it worked out really, really well for us. Got some clinger grenades, which is awesome because we can get those first, um, the clinger challenge. And I did have a really weird bug going on with my sensitivity, so I'm starting to pull some damage. And there's the first clinger kill. Very nice. We're going to go in. I did find another chest in that house, and there's also one in the next one. So if you did win the Snobby Shores, go ahead and loot some more houses on your way. Uh, I'm going to go back to that final chest down here, 
And we're gonna get, I think it's two more in this little clip. So we'll grab this one again, pretty easy. We just die a few times. Watch this. This is amazing how bad my aim is. <laughs> That's a, still having troubles with my sensitivity. I missed that guy four times. That last one should have been an easy headshot, but nope. So we'll run down here. We'll grab, uh, grab that. Then we're going to grab the gun just because I don't want someone else to have it. Grab the final chest here. Very nice. And we don't talk about me drinking the half shield when I still have minis in my inventory. Sad day for Blitz. So after I get all the chests done, I usually like to do the eliminate opponents because we have a mission. We have to do the SMG damage if you haven't done that already, and you have your grenade kills. There's also in retail row, which is where this uh, eliminate opponents challenge is, there's one of the lightning bolts that we have to gather for the week one challenges as well. Uh, so we can float our way down in there, and I love the map. Look at the map below us now. We got the big sandy area. It's kind of sad. The prison in season two and three, actually season one, two, and three was my favorite place to drop, and now it's gone. We just have a sand zone but i do like going in you can see right in front of me here there is that lightning bolt that first lightning bolt is going up everyone here is going to be going at it well in your first week or so anyway because no one's gotten it yet nobody's gotten that mission so i like to jump into this house gather up some loot and uh start messing up or messing people up not messing well i do i do mess up some uh, anyway, let's get that SMG out. If you don't have the uh, SMG damage done, now's a good time to get it. There's a guy going up, and I still have my sensitivity a little bit messy, so my aim isn't that great right now. Ooh, I missed him. See, watch this. Watch that aim. Watch the aim. Yeah. I tried to trying to get through it. I couldn't quite get that kill. Uh, but we're going to go up. We're going to get our lightning bolt on our own. We'll dig up. Uh, it is three ramps up there, and then one over here, so four total. We'll get that search up. And now we get to see another guy down there. Oh, he's trying to hit me with the sticky grenades. Jump away from him a little bit. Switch weapons because the other one is on ammo. And our first elimination is at hand. Really, really janky kill. Not the most, I'm not the most proud of it. I'm going to get this too. Yep, drink the shield right in the middle. Yep, that's great. Good job, Blitz. You're a dork. Should never uh, drink up the shields if you're not in cover. Uh, so this guy does follow me into the house. Try to hit him with that sticky I picked up. Didn't work because he ran away, but I still mowed him down. Now, I feel like you guys probably understand how to get kills in Retail Row. So I'm going to skip that one, and we're going to move on to gathering more lightning bolts. We do have the search floating lightning bolts. We already have that one from Retail Row that we picked up. And I'm going to start going right to the Wailing Woods. And uh, you also see on the map here that I'm, I've got popped up on the screen that there's one right beside it, right south of uh risky reels now this is one of my favorite spots to drop not in the game because not a lot of people go there and there's always some weapons so i'm gonna go get this chest that we see you can see right under me is where that other one is there's somebody there already he's mining it away sometimes uh, it's really nice people are helpful in these challenges he's gonna build up a tower maybe and we'll be able to go over and and get the um the lightning bolt from him anyway but i'm gonna go down and grab this chest that is right below me here there it is gather this up hopefully there's some good stuff here and we do have ooh, a chug jug and a suppressed pistol so let's drink this up and head on over to the tower this guy's made you <laughs> see he doesn't even care he's like afk he's looking at a map trying to figure out where the next one is i'm gonna run up on him i've got my pickaxe out because i don't want to seem mad at him and I'm going to wave. I'm going to do the gentleman's dab. Hello, my friend. <laughs> he does it back at me. So let's let's build up to it and see if we can get in. Let's, look at this. See how helpful he is? See how nice he is? He's actually going to edit his tower for me so I can run up and get it. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. I don't, I don't have a, a thank you. I thought I had the heart spray up. But he's got it. He made it for me and a very nice friend of mine. I've made a friend. Uh, let's let's do some freestyling. Let's dance. Oh, he, he, look at that. He even gave a gun. That's so nice. But I do have another gun. I could kill him if I wanted to, but I'm not going to because I'm going to be a nice guy about this. So now that we've got our second star, we're going to go into the Wailing Woods. Now, this one's a little bit more difficult. It is way up in the trees, probably like eight or ten different things above or eight or ten stairs above the trees. So we got a kind of a long haul. We're going to run all the way over there. And start hacking down some trees. Now, hopefully we can see it way up top. It's kind of between the W and the O. There it is right up there. So it's kind of kind of above the W and the O. So if you wanted to try to figure out where to go on the map, you can do that. We'll automatically switch to the wood, try to get above this tree. We're three up now. Um, yep, there's a stupid tree in the way. Four, five, six. We'll do a flat platform. There's six, seven, and eight. We get another flat platform. Build all the way around. Kind of a mess. We'll go up another one now. Shoot. Okay, go up and get. get. Oh, we're still too far away. We'll put one of those derpy things down because I press the wrong button. Go. Yeah, made it. Made it. Okay. 
Search to floating light bulbs. That's number three. Okay, and then we're gonna look at our map once we get down here and try to find another spot. Now, one of the other good spots here is right down here in Lonely Lodge. This one is at the big tower in Lonely Lodge. Thankfully, somebody's already built up to this one, so all we have to do is run all the way, all the way up the stairs, up, 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 and then run out on this bridge. Now, if I, if I were a trolley guy, I would sit down below with C4, wait for someone to come over here, and then pop it. <laughs> but uh, they didn't do that. We found our fourth star, which is really, really nice. Now, I am doing the ones on the outside of the circle first. So if the circle moves in, then I'll be able to, to grab them a little bit faster. And as I'm running to the next, uh, the next area, I found a beautiful little loot llama, which is also one of the challenges this week. We must go and open the llama of loot. Search it. Now, don't hit it with your pickaxe. Don't destroy it. You must search it there it goes hey we finally have some real loot <laughs> we'll get this thing we'll gather it up and ooh, some more clingers all right so our next star i believe this is four or five or something like that this one is in the motel on the north side of the map the motel way up here you can see there's the umbrella mine down there but the motel has got it and it's going to take a little bit of effort to get up to it kind of high up in there nobody else is jumping with me this one's kind of nobody really jumps here there's not much loot um, i don't like it anyway uh, so we'll gather up those things, jump down and run inside, gather some loot, and then start building up. We're going to build up, build up, build up, and then over to it. There we go. Nice little tower up and collected. Mission complete. That is a number five. And on the way over to our next one, I found a nice little golf cart. The new golf carts in the map. We're going to drive over to it. There it is. You can see it right up there. That is on the kind of the waterfall at the north side of the map. Go up to this one. Zoom! <laughs> I love this thing. The car, it's a lot slower than you'd imagine, but it's a lot of fun to play with. So we're going to build out up to this one. Kind of a far ways out here. We have to use quite a few platforms to get all the way out. Do one there, one there, and we'll just grab it. Perfect! We got the sixth one now. There's a lot more than seven on the map, so you can choose any of them that is on that map that I posted earlier in the video. And we're going to drive back down and find the next one. So there is one down right up on this thing. We're going to go to that one now. So I unfortunately ran out of materials as I was building the way up, but I did get some more down below. You have to get quite a few on this one too, because it's quite high up. What is it, about eight or 10 yet again? So we're gonna make another flat platform on the side. This will be our seventh star that we can get, but you can choose any of them that you want from that list that I posted or that little map. There is star number seven. Next up, we get to follow the treasure map at Risky Reels. So this one, uh, as you can see by any treasure map, it shows you a map and then you get to go to the location. I'm gonna just jump down here so you can see what the map looks like. If you wanted to, you can just skip ahead and it doesn't matter because you can go to the final spot without having to look at the treasure map itself. So we do have some fighting going on. I did manage to get a sticky grenades or the clingers. So we're gonna try to throw those over there. Ooh, hey, watch this, watch this. Oh, 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 stick it, I stuck him. Ha! Yes, <laughs> it blew up. We got our, finals, uh, our final bomb attack. Ooh, 63 white damage there. That's awesome. Uh, the, the treasure map is on the side over there on, well, kind of behind me now, over there to the right, right by that little tree in the middle of the screen. So we're just gonna camp out here a little bit more. Hopefully that guy disappears and we'll see what happens before we go in there. I don't wanna go over there when someone just is, is camping me, waiting for me to pop out. Oh, he's smoking it. Oh, wow, hello, hello. Hi there, nice of you to... Nice of you to provide some damage for my hit point pool. Oh, there we go. All right, the toe. Shot him in the toe. Okay. Let's destroy that. Oh, mini gun. I just, I had to for science purposes. And he's going to poke up. Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. Oh, missed it. There. Oh, one more, one more, one more. And pow, headshot. 145 headshot. Very nice. Goodbye, Ryan 2013. And then we can go find the final map. There it is, the treasure map itself. That shows us it is on top of the uh, on top of the bridge by Tomato Town, right over here. So let's go to that one. And now you don't have to go look at the map first. You can just use the uh, glider to go over to here, or you can just jump directly, walk right up, and collect it. Now we have completed the follow the treasure map in Risky Reels. Now you might think that we have all of our missions completed by now, but there is still one more thing remaining. Now once you unlock all of the challenges, you get an extra little special thing. This is a brand new loading screen and check it out this tells us where you see the little umbrella here that's the umbrella mine outside of the new golf course or what used to be anarchy acres uh fatal fields <laughs> we're at one of the farms it is the umbrella thing right outside of that and there is the special star in there so let's go get it 
Now, we did say at the beginning of the video, we went by this umbrella mine to begin with. Now, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you have to have all of the un other challenges unlocked before this star shows up. A little bit hard to find once you get in here. I thought it would be at that little grass patch, as it's usually on a little brown area. But it's not. It's up just one more layer. There is the finding, the secret battle star. And we have completed all of the challenges for the first week of season five. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please do let me know. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.